All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, Jim, Mesh, rule well, teach well, being great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessing, salutations, to the hopeful lake out there pushing his word in truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful lake, the believers, the listeners that have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And what I want to get into, you know, this evening, you know, I guess I call this the spiritual, you know, evening report, you know, because I done got into the habit, you know, the last few hours of work, I'm kind of watching, you know, different, you know, alternative news, you know, news sites, and uh, what you have, you know, especially with uh, these um, alt-right Republicans, you know, patriot, patriot truthers, you know, they're pissed. Because, you know, they still, you know, they call themselves truthers and, you know, as if they're woke to everything, but they're still within their paradigm of Democrat and Republican, you know, which we know they all play for the same, <laughs> you know, they all dance to the same tune of the elitists, all right? But uh, they was mentioning, you know, how even when you go to Austin, Texas, there was this one woman, you know, she was mentioning that, you know, she moved to Austin, Texas, but now... In Austin, Texas, they have tent cities, you know, just like in L.A., you know, and, and uh, one of the men, one of those Republicans, one of the, uh, the guys on the, on, the, on the podcast, you know, he mentioned how, you know, they have homeless people, you know, but they have, you know, the gay flag, you know, the alphabet, you know, the, the, uh, the alphabet coalition flag, you know, he was speaking about how you know, they're being transported around and making these tent cities and, you know, it's all to bring down the standard of society, man. You know, they're they're pushing this place, you know, towards a dystopia, all right? And they were saying how really, you know, people are already within the new world order system. Like, people are talking about the new world order system that they're, you know, that the elites are trying to put together, all right? But we understand that this man, all right, he's going to get, you know, to a certain point and set his new world order system up. But ultimately, you know, they made a point like, you know, people are already in it. Because if you look at it, you know, there are certain things, you know, that you can't speak against. You know, like the Constitution is out of there. Like, you know, there's things, you know, regarding, you know, the Constitution, all right that you can't, uh, I mean, regarding, you know, speech that you can't say, you know, the thing called council culture, you know, and ultimately it was meant, it, you know, they aim it, you know, they push the narrative as, as if, you know, they're aiming it, you know, towards, um, you know, anything that's negative or anything that's supposedly hate speech, but ultimately they're doing the council culture, culture all right, they push that narrative so they can counsel anything that goes against their narrative, man. You know, they'll make it seem as if they're against, you know, uh, the, the, the uh, you know, the, uh, the white supremacists and, you know, as if they're against any form of racism and all these different things. But ultimately, they push, you know, their council culture so they can counsel, you know, anything that's against their agenda, man. You know, they start something broad, but it has a specific you know, target, you know, that's how they do, they'll start something, you know, with, 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 with a broad, <laughs> you know, target, you know, but ultimately has a specific target, man, and ultimately we know they want to silence this word, you see, but, you know, they were saying how, you know, people are already, you know, lining up, you know, to get poison, you see, they was talking about how, um, they was talking about how, um, you know, society has been dumbed down for decades. Like when you go into the uh, the fluorine and the water, the fluorine and the toothpaste. You know, and that's the first thing that most people do in the morning is brush their teeth. You know, so it's like you're dosing yourself with fluorine, which does what? Clog your uh, pineal gland, man. You see? The, uh, 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 then you have the the, the, the chemtrails. You know, then you have the TV with the engineering, the music with the social engineering, you know, all these enchantments. So they've been dumbing people down, you know, 
for decades. And that's why you see people, you know, are so gullible to this man's deception. You see, because this has been decades of people just being dumbed down and dumbed down and dumbed down, you know, to where they, they can't even form a thought for themselves, really, man. And that's why, you know, we really don't understand how blessed we are, man. You know, to be in this truth, man, to, to, to know, all right, the 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 hundred pin hundred percent truth about the situation that we're in, man. You know, to have the Holy Spirit, you know, working with brothers, man, to be able to understand. You see, to have hope in the hereafter. You know, that's a that's a, that's a, that's a blessing. You know, <laughs> that we can't even fathom fully, man. Just you know, something that we, we that you'll probably you know not think is a big deal, man. It's a big deal for us to be able to see all right to have that eye salve man to see all these things in the spirit man not just be partially woke you know but to be fully woke all right to be fully alert and circumspect in these times man you know because there's a lot of people you know that's under heavy enchantments especially these last days man you know decades of conditioning and you know getting people to accept you know, it can really conform to the beast. You know, the majority of the earth is formed, you know, unto the beast. And that's why, you know, the slain of the Lord going to be from one end of the earth to the other. You know, even the ones that go deep, you know, to exposing these different agendas, they still don't have the true light. You see, we got Yahweh shot. You know, we look at the we look at the world through the perspective of Yahweh shot. You know, that's what, you know, that's part of being in your house shot as we see the, the world through its perspective, man. You know, we understand, we know, all right, come to, when it comes to our people, I mean, this is not an all black thing, you know, most of us not dealing with, you know, just a black, you know, just black people, all right? We, we understand, all right, who the enemy is, the chief of the enemy, all right, which is Amalek, you know? We understand that at the end of the day, America is a lake of fire, you know, because these truthers are talking about prepping and, you know, uh, uh, making sure you have your, your, you know, your supplements, you know, your, 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 your stockpile of supplements and, you know, all these things, they into the gardens, which, you know, of course, you know, you, you try to do the best, all right, health-wise in this society and if you, you know, if you, if you were growing a garden, you can do nothing wrong, you know? We got a few things planted in the backyard, man, but we know, all right, that it's gonna get real bad out here, man, and that, you know, that basil plant, <laughs> all right, you know? That fig tree ain't gonna save you, man, these times, man, all right? It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna have to be some divine intervention from on high, and it's only for the elect of Israel, and that's another thing, like, See, we, you know, as Israelites, we've been in a bad case for a long time, man. You know, look at the fashion that we was brought over here, you know, to this place. Look at the labor, you know, and the torture and the torment, you know, that we suffered as a people, you know, within this society, man. But guess what? We have a savior, you know, and all, all that, um, you know, torment, you know, all the shame and all the things we went through, man, we was the, the bottom of the bottom, you know, but guess what? Those same people have a savior in the worst time ever. We in the worst time that, that, that we coming into the worst time, all right, since the earth was, and we got a savior, man, you know, and these people through. These people are done out here, man, you know? We're looking at a, 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 a society of people that's absolutely done, you know? outside the elect of Israel, man, so even just being an Israelite, you know, within itself, man, and then, you know, to have a chance to be of that hope for elect, you know, then as Israelite men having a chance to be of that governing body, man, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing, man, you know, this, this is, the how about Shema of Shah is a just power, man, you know, because Jacob get offended about, you know, what we went through as a nation, and if you, well, it, your, why your God let this happen and let this happen? You know, you mean tell me you believe in the God? Well, that same God is finna come deliver his people, man. That same God, all right, is sending his son, Yahweh Shah, 
All right, and Yahweh Shine is coming with eternal life. Like when we see Yahweh Shine, that's eternity. We're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye, and that's going to that's going to far outweigh everything that we went through as a nation, man. All the atrocities that we went through, even going back to the Book of Judges, man. You know, until this time now, you see. In the twinkling of an eye, the Most High is going to balance everything out, man. And that's the spirit. I'm behind a uh, a car, uh, and it's an affinity, man. You know, I'm behind a car, and it's an affinity, man. You see, come on, man. We serve a just power, man. You know. So at the end of the day, all right, the the the, the our belief, what we believe in, you know. How great is that, man? What the Lord is finna do to his people, man, and even our people that die, the most high is so merciful that they're gonna be able to come back, you know, and partake, all right, in the eternal kingdom, man. You see, so we serve a just power, you know? And see, when you, we when you the, the understanding, all right, when you increase in understanding, the more and more sense you how about Shima Al Shah makes, man. You know? See, people are offended because they have no understanding. They don't, you know, when the more you believe the gospel, the more sense you how about Shema Shah makes, man. You know? But yeah, man, we, you know, we in those times, uh, you know, people still moving around, all right, like it's normal, you know. But they don't understand, man, that there's a great trap being set for the masses, man. You know? And you people that lined up and went and got that potion, you haven't seen the last of it, man. You know, <laughs> you haven't seen the last of that, man. You know, so, yeah, I just want to bring that out. You know, Lord will, you know, you brothers, you know, and you few sisters edify to the next time I say Shalom.